Yeah, so in brutal blizzard conditions like this, birds use a lot of energy. So if you've got a bird feeder, keep it full if possible. Uh, we've got 26 degree conditions here, and that's actually some beef fat there. And the woodpeckers and so on love the beef fat if you've got suet, whatever. Yeah, keep your bird feeder full and save those birds some trouble. It's pretty brutal out here. The snow has actually slowed down a bit. And I think the heaviest band has just passed about an hour ago here in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. So, little side note here. Uh, if you're going to do backyard feeding in the U.S., perhaps consider one of these tube-style feeders. Now, while squirrels can get on it and empty it out quickly, if you hang it far away from any place that a squirrel can jump onto it, you can keep them away. And uh, also, uh, it is a starling-resistant feeder. So starlings, they will not land on a perch like this and eat out of a feeder for some reason. And a, a starling is one of the largest ecological disasters in North American history. And so, you know, we want to feed certain perching birds and not others. If you put other kinds of feeders up, you may attract a giant flock of starlings. And you really don't want that at your backyard feeding. I won't get into the, eco the ecological implications of the European starling and introduced species in North America. But yeah, keep your feeder full if possible. And I'm going to get out of here because there's birds that are lining up wanting to get in. So I have to get in myself before I turn into a human popsicle. So yeah, I guess I'll do a temperature check real quick also. Just slide down the breezeway here. There we go. The temperature has come up a little bit. We could see a change over here uh, to a wetter snow. It's now up to, well, it's only gone up about a half a degree here. So it's still like 26.2 degrees now or so. And it is about time to close this video out and not go outside again for the rest of the day. The, this feeder should stay full enough. Again, keep your bird feeders full. If you've got one in a brutal blizzard like this, birds really need the extra energy to not die.